B1, P1, workout A. So now that we've transitioned into our spring training, our goal is to be focusing in on higher repetitions, lower weights, and ramping up the conditioning. Because again, we want to look lean, we want to look good. So uh, the first exercise that we're going to go over is uh, the kettlebell swing, which you all should know how to do by now. You all should be able to understand how to coach. So. When I'm coaching the kettlebell swing, the big thing I want you all to remember is to be snapping those hips and at that top position be replicate, replicating a plank. So it's eight consecutive swings. So I make sure that I focus on bending those knees and reaching those hips back and at that top, I'm really focusing in on getting tight. So that's gonna be our lower body power exercise. Next, we're gonna get into our core exercise, which is gonna be shoulder tap planks. And we kind of know how to do those already, so I'm not gonna coach those. Those hands are gonna be underneath those shoulders, and we're actively pressing one arm into the ground and tapping to the opposite side. Now, this is gonna be new, our mobility. This is lower body. So with the specifics of our, of our mobility this round, we're focusing in on hips and knee, uh, or uh, ankles and hips. So. We're gonna be going to our half kneeling ankle dowel stretch. So with that half kneeling ankle dowel stretch, I'm gonna be in a half kneeling position. I'm placing this dowel on the outside of my foot. Now, as I reach forward, I'm driving my knee as far as I can while maintaining contact with the heel. So, uh, that heel to the ground. So as I'm going through this, again, I pin it on the outside, I'm tall and tight. I drive my weight forward, keeping my heel down. What we're doing here is we're going through more of dorsiflexion, uh, meaning we're just planting that foot down and we're driving forward. We're trying to open up this ankle. The reason that that dowel is going on the outside is because we want to track that knee going outward. We don't want that knee falling inward. So we're trying to create more range of motion um, through the outer lateral side of the ankle when we go through this motion. Next, we're going to move into the strength portion. So, uh, the strength portion during this phase of training is going to be squats. So, the first workout of the week is going to be primarily focused on lower body pushing. So, we're going to be going into a USB front loaded squat. Now, there's two variations that we can do with this. We can bring the bag into that front loaded position, which is hands are on the bag, and we're reaching those elbows up. And we're going to be doing 10 reps and it's just straight sets. So you're just going to grab the bag as if it's in a zercher position, raise those elbows up and keep that back straight as you're squatting. Now, if you want to challenge yourself or you want to make this a little bit more progressive, clean the bag onto the fist. So fist loaded front squat. You're going to clean the bag onto the fist. Don't let that bag rest on the chest. You want to have it slightly hovered up and then going into your squat, just regularly. Now, the reason that we are going into the sandbag is just because of variation, right? So there's two variations that we could do with that sandbag, is either that zercher position, that front loaded, I mean that front loaded position, or placing the, the bag on the hands. Now, the reason that it makes it harder for that sandbag to be on our hands is because of the stability that we need to create while going through that squat. So the weight's ever shifting on the fist to make it a regression, hold it on the chest, raise those elbows up. Uh, afterwards, we're gonna go into a TRX row. We know what to do there. Keep those shoulders down, chest up. Um, then we're gonna go into a rib grab for upper body mobility. So we're trying to create some thoracic rotation when we're going through these. So the first, um, series that we're going to do for this cycle is going to be rib grabs and with these rib grabs we're going to stack our knees up this bottom arm is going to pin my legs down top arm comes up working over my shoulder breathing out rotating back up slow control so what this is allowing us to do is it's helping us with this rotation through our upper back so those knees are stacked to help keep out that low back from being involved in that rotation. Again, our spine is made to move. We're just moving it in the direction that it should go. Now for conditioning. So that's the thing that's gonna be a little bit different. It's power strength conditioning. Uh, 
Um, now with the conditioning, we vamp that up, meaning the time is going to be longer. So with our conditioning, to be expected to be going for longer of a distance uh, of time. So it's going to be a med ball thruster to slam. With that med ball thruster to slam is we're going to squat and at the same time as we stand up, press the ball up, slam, grab it, thruster, slam. Then that's for the first round. We're doing circuits. So it's circuits for the first round of conditioning. Then the next round, going into regular dead bug, it's just body weight. So nothing too specific here. Make sure those toes are up towards the shins, opposite arm, opposite leg, going for a set amount of time. 